Hello there, today is the for some beauty video. So if you are pale, I think this video is going to be useful for you. Um, I'm going to be talking about the Pony FX Defense Longwear Cushion Foundation. When I purchased this, I think I bought it for around $30. But sometimes they go on sale and sometimes if you just buy it without the sale I think it's a bit more expensive but other than that you can get it cheaper plus it comes with a refill and let me just tell you that this thing lasts a long long time I'm still not in my refill granted I don't use it every day I'm gonna be talking about it it's not my favorite cushion that being said this lasts a really long time I'm just gonna get straight into applying this I'm gonna do like half the face with it you can see the difference. Usually when it comes to cushions I'm super lazy so today I actually tried and applied some skincare before applying this and it actually looks a lot better than it usually does. I think for dry skin people I don't think this is the way to go. I think this definitely looks better on oily skin or combination. Woo! The difference, right? So, the color wise. This is a really pale cushion. I think I'm rather pale, like usually in Korean foundations I'm always the palest shade and sometimes they're too dark for me. But this one, I find that this one just, it kind of makes me look sick. Like it, like it looks like it matches my neck, but at the same time, I think I should have bought one shade darker. The coverage is pretty good, I'd say it's pretty good. The only thing is, well now you cannot see it yet, but it gets into my fine lines, which pisses the crap out of me. See, it's only kind of just getting into fine lines and kind of bunching up. It's only been like 10 minutes, or maybe even less. On camera, it probably looks better, but it has like this, you know there's like three pony effect cushions, so there's the, I would say you call it the glowy one, then there's the matte one, and then there's this one. So I thought the glowy one's gonna be too much for me, so I went for this one, but maybe I should have gone for that one, I'm not sure. Let me just apply the rest of it. All right, so to recap, good things about this cushion. I think the coverage is pretty good. Mm, second, the color range. If you're super pale, I think this is good for it. Third, it lasts a really long time. Seriously, it lasts a long time. That's why it's like, Price-wise, and how long it lasts, it's good. The only thing is if it doesn't work for you, well, then you're... Good luck. <laughs> but the pros get into fine lines. I don't find it to be super buildable. Like, when I build it up, it just kind of... It doesn't look that pretty. It looks very obvious. If you do one light, light layer, it looks... I say it looks pretty nice, but if you build it up, it just... It looks very powdery, and I don't like it. And what else? Oh, transfer. Yes, it transfers transfers really easily. I don't really enjoy applying powder on top of foundation. Sometimes okay, but usually I'm too lazy for that. <laughs> so that's another con about it. Also the lasting power. Okay, it's called long lasting. I personally don't find that it lasts a long time. Overall for me, this was kind of a disappointment. I don't know, maybe the other two are better than this one, because they're all the same price, I think. Or maybe this one actually was a little bit more expensive, but they're more or less the same price. And if you want to try a pony effect, maybe try the other two. If you have any cushion suggestions, like please tell me, because I really want to find one that really works out for me, because it's just so easy to apply it, you know, so fast, so fast, and you're done in the morning, but I haven't found one that I really, really enjoy so far. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!